Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is November the 12th, 2019. Here to give you all an article with the expectation that many altcoins, including XRP, will be going to zero based off this report that came out from IBM and another policy forum that controls central banks. Uh, for many of you, let me preface this. I know you all may see that this might be a negative uh, article, negative video, but pay attention to the things that I'm about to point out to you in this report as to why this will place many altcoins to zero and literally shows them as being useless once the first central bank issues a digital currency within five years. So these altcoins have about five years of lead time in order to establish themselves as a firm footing and create use case and credibility in the market prior to the central banks jumping on board with creating their central bank digital currency shortened as CBDC. Now, if you guys appreciate this article, appreciate our videos that we do here on this platform, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. And then on top of that, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and then on our website at hughfinancial.com. Now, just be a realist. I'm just giving you the expectations of this vast market of cryptocurrencies. Okay, so let's look at this article. It's, it came out October the 30th and from Cointelegraph and only 6,094 views have been on this article, which I find quite odd being that today is November the 11th. So a lot of people haven't been talking about the central banks issuing their own digital currency. Now, they are saying 73% of the leading global banks have claimed that central bank digital currencies should be available under all circumstances in a new study. Now, CBDC will substitute much more easily for cash, which I mean, pretty much everyone in today's time does not use cash, maybe in the undeveloped countries and the smaller economies across the world. Yes, but in the more developed countries, they don't use cash that often. OK, now central banks are responding to reality that digital currencies, either privately or publicly issued, will soon be part of the global monetary system. And that is and that it is in their best interest to ensure they are neither left behind nor the place displaced. So they're trying to get prepared, no doubt about it, behind closed doors on these articles that we do not see on the meetings and the partnerships that we do not know about. They are actively pursuing creating a central bank digital currency is going to come. 73% of global banks have spoken in favor of CBDC. So they already are seeing a good number of banks that are willing to jump on board. 82% of those central banks respondents claim that the greatest financial stability concern from digital currencies is the risk of digital bank operations at the higher speed than before the report, report notes. Now I know that XRP, uh, Stellar and many other cryptocurrencies claim that fast speed that they can accomplish through the interledger protocol, the digital ledger protocol. But is this something that the central banks really want? In addition, central banks believe that CBDCs should be available offline and function wherever cash is used to date. So they just don't want this thing to be located on a network. They want it to be available offline. Wherever you go, you can still have access to the central bank currency. IBM stated that the first CBDC is suspected within five years. Now this is based on the research results from IBM and the OMFIF. They concluded that the first ever CBDC is expected to be implemented within the next five years. The report reads, the principal conclusion is that we are likely to witness the introduction of a central bank that is fiat retail, keep that in mind, retail digital currency within the next five years, either as a complement to or as a substitute for notes and coins. Now, the research also goes into to say 
that it's unlikely that the first ever central bank digital currency will come from a G20 central bank, but rather it is likely to be launched in a smaller and less complex economy to address a certain policy objective such as driving resilience of the national payment system or extending financial inclusion. Okay. Now I want to pinpoint something that I told you earlier and that was retail. Okay. It's seemingly it's going to be two separate types of digital currencies that the central bank is going to create. Now I went ahead and pulled up the actual report and there are some things I want you to notice that wasn't talked about in Cointelegraph and it is right here. They have a retail CBDC will be used like a digital extension of cash by all people and companies whereas a wholesale CBDC will be used only by permitted institution as a settlement asset in the interbank market. So they're they're going to create their own XRP per se or Stellar per se as a settlement asset that only interbanks will be able to use. So what use would the majority of these altcoins have in this space? If the central bank goes and create their own, this is one of the main concerns that uh, I do see in the market for the cryptocurrency space is that if these currencies, at least in the next five years, do not get a firm footing in the market as big of a use case, the central bank is going to come in and dominate. They're going to come in and the companies and people of the world will have to use their currency. Let's go throughout this document to see what else we can find with the term wholesale, because this is what they're going to use. It is going to be permissioned It's not going to be permissionless. You will have to have some type of access. Everyone won't have access to it, but only those who are permitted to use it. Those type of institutions. All right. So let's go see what else we can find. Now, look. The first OMFIF IBM report on CBDCs published in October 2018, it focused on the wholesale applications and outlined how a permissioned blockchain based token could offer distinct benefits to the back end infrastructures which underpin modern payment systems, no notably faster speed and better efficiency, lower counterpart risk and better overall system resilience could be achieved through a wholesale CBD solution. This is what knocks out the majority of the cryptocurrencies in the space today. They already have created a permission blockchain based token that offers multiple benefits rather than speed that is needed on a central bank level. They receive faster speed, better efficiency, lower counterpart risk, and better overall system resilience. These benefits could also extend to the retail CBDC. In 2018, OMFIF IBM report, a central bank digital currencies, we concluded that the most significant and imminent developments were likely to be seen in wholesale financial services, especially in uses based around stablecoin backed electric tokens. So it's coming. The wholesale CBDCs are definitely coming to fruition, at least in the next five years. Now, last year's IBM report on wholesale CBDCs concluded that there will be very few policy implications from their implementation. This report into retail CBDCs produce markedly different results. So there is a policy and implement implications for the introduction of CBDCs on a retail side of the market. But for the wholesale portion, there's very few policy implications, very few. Now, this is another thing I want you all to see. 
Now I'm gonna read down here, permission alternatives produced by financial institutions for wholesale use, such as JP Morgan's JPM coin and the UBS led utility settlement coin have arisen largely in the name of efficiency gains. So XRP gas competition. And you're not hearing a lot in the market about these coins, the JPM coin, and whoever knew that UBS had a utility settlement coin. They have arisen largely in the name of efficiency gains. A wholesale CBDC supported by blockchain has the potential to overhaul current frameworks by removing some intermediary processes and adding greater functionality. So where is XRP in this form? Where is Stellar? Where is the other altcoins into the market? Commercial bank money is assessed for payments through deposit holder requests. These requests that initialize bank transfers can be authenticated through for example, debit cards, mobile payment applications, or in person with proof of identification. Now, when consumers make a payment to another agent, such as a retailer, their respective commercial banks settle these transactions against each other through the wholesale payment system. So they have a system that the central banks are gonna to utilize to settle the payments in some cases via central bank reserves. One question put forward frequently by central banks is whether this technology is truly a disruptive innovation or just a solution looking for a problem. Central banks are at the forefront of testing these new technologies. There have been successful experiments with wholesale systems and more recently, central bank trials for high volume, low value retail payments have shown positive results. They're working in the background. They're testing, they're trying, they're looking at new innovation, new technology to see if the CBDC will really work. And they have already created systems for settlement of their currency. Among respondents to our survey, 64% that's talking about the research, preferred a value-based system, stating that such a structure would be the closest form to cash and that it is not in central banks' remit to deal with individual customers directly. Only one respondent from a small island economy said their experiment was account-based, working through a private chain that could be held directly via central bank or commercial bank accounts. Now that the remaining 36% were either undecided, favor an account-based model, or consider a combination of account and value-based systems. However, a pure account system at the central bank without any frictions in the transfer of funds from customer accounts at commercial banks to central bank accounts could result in bank runs being more sudden and larger, negatively impacting financial stability. Now you do have economists that's arguing that a dynamic marketplace and, and good design will mitigate those disasters. In the meantime, the approach could be to offer a wholesale CBDC platform with which payment service providers could connect to the central bank's reserves and intermediate payment solutions to end consumers. So hybrid. The People's Bank of China is exploring a two-tiered system with an account-based CBDC that only regulated banks can access. Such an approach does not risk disintermediating banks and protects the status quo of retail banks as pivotal to money distribution. It also promotes financial innovation without mandating a specific technology. 
With time, the central bank can offer a solution that is available to end consumers directly, namely retail CBDCs. So they are going to have two types of accounts, one for institutions who have access to wholesale CBDCs, and then you have another one that ordinary people like you and I will be able to use called retail CBDCs. Now, I'm going to have this uh, PDF here for you all, or at least have a link to where you can find it so you can read upon it yourself. And then as well, I have the coin telegraph article as well so you can catch up on it. But I just wanted to point pinpoint that uh, the monetary system that we are accustomed to today, they're not just going to take this land down. They are in the background quietly working to create a system that they can maintain and hold on to the control. XRP, Stellar, and the rest of these altcoins into the market has a formidable job if they really want to try to replace the status quo in the central bank monetary system. So let us know what you think about this article, this report. The research has already been done. If you guys can find something else that contradicts what this research has been done by the uh, IBM and let me see. Take it up there real quick. And the OMIF, I, and excuse me, and the OMFIF, then go ahead and present it to us with a comment in this video, okay? So there you are. Make sure you all maintain your profitability, and I will see you all on the next one.